Charlie. For my wife, our anniversary, we agreed to make our presents this year. My dad actually told me this, <laughs> if you can believe it. Real men press flowers for their wives. For years. Anyway, I thought I had more time to spend on it, but uh, work calls. What's your name, son? Eddie. Did you try to steal my coke, Eddie? I was only trying to steal the car. Didn't do a very good job of it, did you? Who told you to steal the car? You ex army? Pardon? You ex army? People sat in that chair usually rigging right about now. Fine. You keep calm under pressure. You keep calm under pressure. I like that. It took me years to learn how to respond, not react. But I guess they beat that out of you where you're from. How do you do it? Me? A lot of therapy. <laughs> Life. This world. This world works on a, a system of morals, codes, not this hyper-violence or hyper-masculinity. I find, find that all quite embarrassing. Oh yeah, I, f <laughs> I find that all quite in the embarrassing. So why go into boxing? Where violence makes sense to me, where sound and fury have their place, it's like, it's like their therapy, I guess. What's your technique? I imagine I'm laying on my back on this wooden boat, staring up at the sky, feeling the water holding me up. Here's my head. It helps me focus. I like that. So, Eddie, clear your mind. Who told you about the car? You're gonna kill me anyway, so what's the point? I'm not a violent person, Eddie. I really not. I only need to when, <laughs> when I need to. You can make everyone happy. You tell me, you get a slap on the wrist, but you would win your way, minimal pain, you have my word. But if you don't, I'll have to get it out of you. And you're not leaving that chair until I do. You could be floating your little head bow of yours, meaning that you're just gonna keep your mouth shut and you won't be leaving that chair at all. And that just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Tonight, all I wanted was to get my coke, work on my wife's present a little bit more, go home, heat up leftovers from dinner. That is all I really wanted to do. So I'm gonna ask you one more time, who told you about the car?